Okay guys, so I've got a story and I joined the main character a couple of times and am I ready to begin the animation process? Not really. One thing I learned on my productions is the better you prepare it, the smoother it goes later on. So today I'll show you another step in my personal production process. I'm talking about the storyboard and stylomatic. I used to think that making of the storyboard is kind of a waste of time when you are working on your personal projects and I was jumping straight to the animatic after early concept work. I kind of changed my mind lately and Blender opened up for me some cool possibilities on how to reuse the storyboard artwork in animatic and in animation process as well. So here is how I prepare my blend file. First I create some kind of a hand-drawn frame. I mean, you can use uh, the draw rectangle tool, but I'm kind of obsessed with drawing everything. And on the same layer I add a place to put the number of the shot and the sequence. And this is my template. Now I will copy it a couple of times and spread it around like this. I start with a very rough sketches. I draw each shot in separate GP object. Usually I start with some establishing long shot like here, but it isn't like the general rule. My general rule is whatever works. I mean, it always works better if the shots which are next to each other are significantly different in terms of camera angle and position. Knowing the 180 degree rule helps, and I won't explain it here, like there are tons of great videos on YouTube covering this topic, but the point is to make the sequence of shots visually cool and understandable for the spectator. So here, the action is not very complicated. Girl goes through the woods, casts a spell, enters the ruined house and finds the fern she was looking for. And here is a cool trick with the camera. I turn on the camera to view option and auto keying. Change the interpolation method to constant and frame by frame I move camera to cover all the shots from the storyboard. Then I go to dope sheet, scale the distance between the keyframes and if I go to camera view I got the stylomatic from my storyboard. Later on, in the next video, I will use it as an animatic as well. But right now, I want to refine the stills. I kept it really rough up to this point because I redraw the whole shots very often, trying to get something that works both in terms of being a nice piece of art by itself, but also looking on how it works with other shots around. By refining the stills, I don't mean creating the final quality of the animation. I still want to be kind of sketching here, but want to focus on details a little bit more. I really like to work with just black and white and decide what's the value balance in each shot, so more or less on how much of the space is white and how much is black. The cool thing is that by switching between the front view and the camera view, I can decide if the storyboard works fine as a whole, like if it would be some kind of a page from a graphic novel. Again, it's not some kind of a general rule, but if it looks fine from this perspective, there is a chance that it will look good as a part of the sequence of shots. But what about the amount of time each shot should last? Right now, the distances between the keyframes of the camera movement are equal, and I guess it's a good start. At this point, I like to leave some more time for long shots and for some crucial actions, like when she's casting the light bolt, but the real decisions about how long each shot would last would be made during the working on the animatic. But this is something I will show you in the next video. I'm kind of excited because I really believe that making of the animatic is one of the most creative parts of the whole production process. But for today, that's all folks. See you next time.